Good afternoon. In life, in life and in death, we belong to God. As Christians, this is our belief, our faith, and the foundation of our hope. This is the day that the Lord has made, and even today, let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Paul Rowland. I'm the pastor at Berea Presbyterian Church, where Joyce is a, an active member, and where seven years ago today, Donald did one of his presentations with his True Friends group of bluegrass gospel and a whole lot of humor. <laughs> On behalf of the family, let me thank you for coming to this service, celebrating the life of Donald Clayton. Today we will hear from God's Word, we will pray, and we will hear some music by musicians precious to Donald and all the other Claytons. First, let us hear from the Psalms. In Psalm 121, we read, I will lift my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on forevermore. Oh 
What a joyful thought that my Lord I'll see over in the glory land, and the kindred souls will forever be over in the glory land. Just over in the glory land, I'll join the happy angel band over in the glory land. Just over. All God's people said, Amen. 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 Thank you. Hear God's word as written in the book of Romans at the eighth chapter. What will we? What shall we say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He that spared not His own Son, but delivered Him up to be for us all. How shall we not be with him who also freely gave up all for us? What shall we say? Shall anything, anything to the charge of God's elect, it is God who has justified us. Who is to condemn us? It is Christ, and Christ died for us and has risen again, who is even at the right hand of God. Who else maketh intersection, intercession for us? What can separate us? What can separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, or any other creature shall separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to you. God. Hear the words of Jesus. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I told you my name is Paul Roland, but that's not what Donald called me. He called me Uncle Paul. Because <laughs> he was a lot, he, he knew that I was a lot like my, my good friend that used to be on WRAL having the little children march. <laughs> Joyce told me she didn't march, but she took a grand, uh, one of the little children to march one day. <laughs> and I called him a true friend. See, some of you knew Donald as a as a youngster and as a brother, but I only knew him in the last uh, 10 or 15 years, and I knew him as a musician. I heard he, he hung sheetrock, but I knew him as a musician and as a storyteller who could make you laugh so your sides would hurt. <laughs> he knew lots of stories and told them well. He was someone who was loved by his family and loved by his neighbors and loved by his community. He was someone who brought joy to life. 
and not just at churches and other places they might perform. We went down to Liberty Commons and looked at the calendar, and there were the true friends scheduled to play. We just missed them that afternoon. <laughs> he played lots of places and brought great joy to so many people. So let us, let us pray in thanksgiving for his life. And at the end of this, I'll ask you to say the Lord's Prayer with me. I know that some of us are Presbyterians and say debts and debtors, and some of y'all are trespassers. <laughs> and whichever, whichever you do, don't worry about it, because we'll all get to the same amen at the end. Let's pray. O oh God, in whom we live and move and have our being, we know that all good gifts come from you. We thank you for the life and witness of our friend Donald Clayton. We thank you for his good and generous heart. We thank you for all the joy Donald brought to his family, his coworkers, his friends, his community, with his music and with his humor. Oh Lord, we thank you for being with Donald in hard times, especially over oh, this recent times when he's been so sick. We thank you for his sisters, Joyce and Wilma, and for his brother Larry and sister-in-law Carolyn, and for his many nieces and nephews and cousins and so, so many friends. all these people who cherished his memory. Oh God, we thank you for the love and laughter that Donald shared with each person here today. God of compassion and sorrow, we receive from you the comfort you alone can give. Enable us to see that you are continually making all things work together for good. Oh God, you are the one, our dwelling place. We thank you that underneath us are your everlasting arms. Lord, assure us of your love so that we may be able to accept what we can neither understand nor change. Help us. Help us, Lord, to be aware not only of the shadow of death, but also of the splendor of life eternal. Enable us to see, even now, help us to face with courage this time. Give this family and all of us the grace and strength to go on. Let the life and memories of Donald Clayton continue to inspire us and amuse us, comfort and uphold his family and all of us until together we share the light of your glory and the peace of your eternal presence. All these things we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I remember standing at my daddy's bedside When tears filled up the wrinkles on his face And I held his withered hand, he smiled and whispered
thing I learned about Donald just just the other day. George told me that he played for a long, long time, but he didn't sing for the longest time. And along the way, he had a girlfriend, and he broke up with her, and he wrote a song and started singing. <laughs> he was way ahead of Taylor Swift at doing that. <laughs> if there's one chapter in the Bible that people know by heart, it's the 23rd Psalm. And those who know it usually know it in the King James Version, which is beautiful poetry and a comfort at a time like this. So I ask you to join me in saying Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in pastures of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the Old Testament book of Lamentations, we read, but this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the, God, of the Lord never, never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new. They're fresh every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore I will hope in him. Each person here today had a relationship with Donald. Each friend, each family member treasures some precious memories, some from decades ago, and some from just last week. I have a psychologist friend who, who told me that he had asked a lot of believers 
what they thought heaven would be like. Generally, he said, most folks said they weren't really too sure. And they especially didn't know that they could play a harp or would have wings. They didn't know anything for sure about that. But what they did have faith was that God Almighty would be in charge. God would take care of the details. And that was all they needed to know. As we mourn the death of Donald Clayton, we share that hope that God Almighty is in charge and that we shall meet again. Now, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother, Donald Clayton. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord says the Spirit, they rest from their labor and their works follow them. After I say our benediction, our musicians will sing, I'll fly away. And you are asked, you're invited to sing with them. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. I'm going to amend what you just said. Go ahead. If you don't, if, if you know, if you don't know how to sing, just move your mouth. That's what Donald would say. Don't say that. <laughs> um. Some bright morning when the sky is over.
Folks, we're gonna move the Mr. Larry and Miss Wilma and Miss Joyce over to the gravel area over here. If you'll give us just a moment, we're gonna transition the chairs over there. And Miss Joyce said for y'all not to slobber on her when you love her. <laughs> so when you go over there, just love on them as you would like to, okay? <laughs> Well, we can do that. <laughs> Let you out of the way. <laughs> All right, Hunter's going to take you, Miss Wilma. Okay. I'm taking you this way, but I'm taking your chair. Take a step up for me. All right, there we are. Over right there. All right, let's go. Got stand on the way. Folks, you can feel free to make your way over to speak to them and have a blessed day.